All right, uh, we're going for backpacks and then we're going to find the rest of this Erectus district. Maybe this will help me balance work and a personal life if I ever find time to read it. There's something disgusting about the whole topic of work-life balance and that's um, that some people, especially in the US, believe that young people should have no work-life balance because they grew up working their ass off, wasting all the life they had, 15 years, all the time, working their ass off for very little in return. And now they look down upon younger humans who manage to survive by working, getting money, earning money, but also having a good life, having free time, by having fun, by having time to spend with family and friends. And those angry old people who don't work young, who don't want young people to have a work-life balance, they envy these people. And envy, it's the greatest compliment. Number one bestseller, three million copies sold by Dr. Ludwig Reinhardt. And these amazing steps helped get my life back in balance. The Daily Bugle, simple steps to the balanced work life you deserve. Stressed, exhausted, burning the candle at both ends, and still feel like you're neglecting your job, your personal life, or both. At last, there is hell. In today's fast-paced world, it's still possible to juggle a career and a private life if you do it right. In these pages, world-renowned psychiatrist Dr. Ludwig Reinhardt will teach you how his patented Reinhardt method can restore peace and <laughs> patented <laughs> money can restore peace and harmony at work, at home, and in you. Dr. Ludwig travels throughout the world promoting the inspirational method. His unique findings have garnered him accommodations from many famous people around the world. I'm relatively sure that there is a space bar too much between famous and people. Use Jolo 1995 SEL self help. Oh, okay, that's it. And here it says work life balance for idiots. Yes, yes. Okay. Power to solve a helpless person like that. Try hitting me. Spoiler, I hit back. Irony in me saying this, but I hope you've learned not to hit people. Thank you. Wilson Fisk Science Prize Trophy. And check. I couldn't turn it down without arousing suspicion, but no way was I going to take his money, even though we could have used it. I did accept the lifetime supply of backpacks, though. Um, yeah, sure. On In a very famous spot, he put a backpack in an area that is visible, and he put something in there identifying his person. I mean, come on, that's ridiculous. All units. Reports of muggings perpetrated by armed suspects. Incident is ongoing near two bridges.
That's a hold up. Oh, it is on. Like the holdup guys are phoning it in lately. There's a Statue of Liberty. Damn, the graphics in this game are good. Guys are trading baseball cards. I get strung up. Wait a minute. Just a goof. I wasn't gonna find them. Hey guys, you got prescriptions for this stuff? Knocking the ever-loving stuffing out of dealers is my anti-drug. Well, that was cute. He didn't just let him fall to the ground and die. No, Spider-Man don't. Spider-Man doesn't kill people. He, he only punishes them. You make sure they get to prison. I mean, that's very honorable. I bought this used graphing calculator at a pawn shop. Stopped working in the middle of a trig exam. Eh, you get what you pay for. Superheroing doesn't leave much time for good hygiene. Gotta get it where I can.
wouldn't be New York without a seedy drug deal. Fisk did keep these wannabe pushers in check. Wait a minute, what's that feeling? Do I miss him? Right. <laughs> yeah. Better repair this suit before it falls apart even more. Infamous dumpling recipe. Should have come with step 10. Try not to burn everything in MJ's apartment. Well, hello there. Chinese pork dumplings. Ingredients, half a cup of soy sauce, one tablespoon seasoned rice vinegar, one tablespoon finely chopped Chinese chives, one tablespoon sesame seeds, one teaspoon chai, chili, chai, garlic sauce, chili. Ah, chili garlic sauce. One pound ground pork, three cloves garlic minced, one egg beaten, two tablespoons finely chopped Chinese chives, two tablespoons soy sauce, one and a half tablespoons sesame oil. That sounds almost awfully familiar, but it's not. But you could just say three tablespoons finely chopped Chinese chives. It's unnecessary to write it down twice. One half tablespoon sesame oil, one tablespoon minced fresh ginger, 50 dumpling wrappers, one cup vegetable oil for frying, one quart water or more as needed. Directions. Combine one and a half cup soy sauce, rice vinegar, one tablespoon chives, sesame seeds and chili sauce in a small bowl. Set aside. Mix pork, garlic, egg, two tablespoon chives, soy sauce, sesame oil and ginger in a large bowl until thoroughly combined. Place a dumpling wrapper on a light floured work surface and spoon about one tablespoon of the filling in the middle, wet the edge with a little water and crimp together forming small plates, pleats to seal the dumpling. Um, I'm not sure if you are going to make your own dumplings. Why use dumpling wraps? I mean you're you're doing so much work to ruin um, the result by not making them your own. Repeat with remaining dumpling wrappers and filling. Heat one to two tablespoons vegetable oil in a large skillet over medium high heat. Place eight to ten dumplings in the pan and cook until browned, about two minutes per side. Pour in one cup of water, cover and cook until the dumplings are tender and the pork is cooked through about five minutes. Repeat for remaining dumplings. Serve with soy sauce mixture for dipping. Remember MJ's stove runs hot. Alrighty. All units, report of an assault. Backup requested near Trinity. Over. We want any cowards assault a helpless person like that. Hitting me. Spoiler, I hit back. Live by the beatdown, die by the beatdown. Thanks. I think I'll be okay. 
People know my parents died in a plane crash, but I still can't tell anyone they were government agents. I wish I knew more about them. I wish anyone did. Spider-Man, the situation's under control. That is one ridiculously big tower. What is that? Hmm. Aunt May's recipe for wheat cakes. <laughs> I could never make it work on my own. Let's try to read this. May. Pastures. Glamorous wheat cakes mixed together. One cup trotch wheat. Co oh my goodness. One cup I take whole wheat flour. Two tablespoons of double acting baking powder. One tablespoon of baking powder. One tablespoon of salt. And Mix no Alan mix a sep pack what towel bowl bowl separate in a separate bowl mix two cups buttermilk and two tablespoons of molasses is that molasses then set aside add to the flour mix two beaten egg yolks one and a half cups melted butter the Buttermilk, molasses mixture, ship, add two egg whites, strip, ah, two, ah, two egg whites until, ah, um, till stiff, but not dry, so you need to beat them, beat the shit out of them, <laughs> but not too dry, then total, no, total fee, into the Battering gently until semipoil. <laughs> yeah, oh my goodness. That's a T L -tl H T Tinekle. Don't overmix. Gently total them into the batter gently until does that mean tender? No. Cook on a greased hot gnilla and frying pan until small bubbles appear on top. Share tentacles oven. No, no, what? Shen ton ton what? And cook. Until bottom is lightly own O'Neill what? New mic mic mu 
Gone hot with butter and, and no wonder Peter can't, <laughs> can't do it properly. Dude, learn to write without looking like... I don't know. I can't read this. I give up. Spider-Man defeated me. That's no... That's no problem with admitting that one. Before we continue, I would like to get a new skill called Press A on contact with point to massively boost point launch and distance. ID badge from my semester as a teaching assistant. Didn't have time. Uh, hello? Ah, yes, no. Uh, there was a side quest. Uh, we're going to do it. Use these electrician's gloves in my first fight with Electro. Give me the idea to add insulation to my costume, which saved my bacon more than once. I wonder where we are with the timeline and what timeline this game wants. I mean, we obviously are not yet at odds with uh, Doc O and we um, probably did have a certain story with a certain goblin. Um, a goblin. Hmm? Um, and we already fought Electra. Over. Got a yeah. I said noise. Man, fist goes away and suddenly it's amateur out. You'll be as good at breaking out as you were at breaking in. system towers wasn't me i mean what towers i don't mind in fact i need your help i think someone's jamming the system and they must be using multiple jammers to cover the full frequency range could you take a look if you help i promise i won't tell anyone you're hacking us i prefer to call it sharing but sure the jammers emit a signal i can detect 
Just need to swing through the financial district and hunt for a signal. Found a signal. Just need to follow it. The closer I am to the jammer, the stronger the signal gets. Fisk's men. This is my shock face. Gotta take out the jamming device. That jammer's still messing up police communications. Shoddy workmanship. I just took out a jamming device. That do anything? No, but like I said, there's probably a bunch of them. Makes sense. I'll track him down. I wonder if Fisk's men had anything to do with the system going down in the first place. Aw, they had a jamming party and didn't invite me. need to get rid of the jammer. Sometimes breaking stuff is the answer. <laughs> it's fun, too. Spider-Man, it's working. I'm starting to get a weak signal. It's garbled, but I picked up something about Fisk and outfit. Fisk was the kingpin of crime, but he didn't deal in knockoff fashion. The sooner the system is fixed, the sooner we know what they're planning. Only one jammer left. Found you. <laughs> you literally didn't see that gun. Now I just... Okay, that's the last of them. 
The system should be back online. Spider-Man, the crime system's working again. Great. Any more info on Fisk's men or those outfits? No, but the system's reporting unauthorized activity down by the docks. I'm sending coordinates now. I'll check it out. Gotta get to the docks before they escape. <laughs> 